we don't fucking apologize for how we're going to play. There's only one this. A person without a dream never had a dream come true. It's okay to dream their dreams. It's okay. There's a lot of guys in this room who never thought they'd ever be in this situation. Never thought you'd make it to the NFL. Interview every day. That's what it is. Just interview every day in life. You're here. You're here for a reason. You're here because we saw in you, and we hope we pick the right person that won't apologize for competing the way we have to compete. There may be better athletes, but not better football players. There may be better athletes, but not defensive football players that have to go into war tomorrow and play the way we fucking play. So okay, dream it. I never seek to defeat the man. I am fighting. I seek to defeat his confidence. A mind troubled by doubt cannot focus on victory. Two men are equals, true equals, only when they both have true equal confidence. You know when you knock the air out of them on a bird, on a wax, on a remember? In a fellow's production business, we'll never forget about it. Where are we at right now? Got a tie at the top. Got a lot of guys up at the top. Kill the head, the body will die. Kill the head, the body will die. We've got to do everything in the world to make sure we kill Frank Gore's head. We want him running sideways. We want his head sideways. Little 32, we want to knock the fuck out of him. He has no idea what he's in for. When he's on the sideline, we got to turn that motherfucker over, turn the coaches over, turn the spectators over, go get that motherfucker on the sideline. That who are you? We're going to put you up there. We're going to put you out there. Who are you? Production. This is a production business. It's a great game. It's a production business. Here we are. We set to go into the ball game. We're going to match 21 with regular. We'll match 12 with Oki. They're very little. 11 on first and second down, but should it come, it'll be 30 in Python. Penny will only be called if it becomes a run game late with 11. Understand that. We're going to tarantula them until the nose fucking bleeds. We're going to strike. We may, may set the record in strike calls. When we call strike, when I call strike calls, I'm thinking run, but you can see the bird rabbit tip. Just because I call strike calls, I'm guessing on rhythm over there, on the what ifs, play afters, play before. I'm guessing. And now you get out, you get out there, and you see that fucking running back's head? Is he scanning? I call strike close. That motherfucker's telling you pass right now. So now I gotta add like a motherfucker if I'm Mike and Will. I wanna add if they max protect, if they counter gap protect and try to take a two man route, we hit fucking Smith right there. Remember me. I got the first one. I got the first one. Go get it. Go lay that motherfucker out. They think it's blocked, but it's not. I call strike open. I'm thinking it's pass. All of a sudden, Gore is stacked right there. He ain't fucking looking anywhere. Both tackles are in the fucking run stance. Got to know. They run the ball closed, knock it back to the butcher. So I guess in both those situations, and you all make it right by what we see on Bird Rabbit. Tarantula, strike, we're going to go get him. Keys to win. Can't be this simple. No deep passes caught. No deep passes caught. It's fun to see that highlight film, but I cut my wrist laying a hot tub of water by the coach fucking Detroit secondary. Are you fucking shitting me? Fucking Meacham 95 with fucking 20 yards of him. Fucking Henderson 95 with fucking 10 yards of him. Fucking Jimmy Graham, he fucking scores nobody. Don't even line up on that motherfucker. Are you shitting me? When the secondary plays, everybody gets to play. No. Deep motherfucking passes caught. If the ball is cut underneath us, that's fine. We all got that cocksucker. But the one over top of our heads, there's no excuse. 
No deep pass is caught. And then we're going to play the run. And we're going to swarm. We're going to dominate the line of scrimmage. And we're going to kill the fucking head. Every single one of you, before you get off the pile, affect the head. Early, affect the head. Continue, touch and hit the head. Because that fourth quarter differential that you saw in there, people say no more. We break their will. We don't break their skill. We break their will. And when we break their will, their skill goes running and hiding. We're breaking their will. Dominate on third down. We've got a big, we've got a big advantage there, and we're going to pressure the piss out of them on third down. Take the ball away. Huge stat with Jones and Stedham there. They've had a week off. They're going to come in. They're going to be shocked with our contact. They're going to be shocked with our speed. They're going to be shocked with our strip. Find ball, see ball, get ball. Get me that fucking simple. I can kick field goals, be the best defense in that stadium, remember the walkaways, and remember whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, we'll get on that bus, right back that airport, and get ready for the next one. The mark of any good defense, and the mark of this defense in here, there's no defense in the National Football League that we monitor all year long. We're number one in the league right now when we have to play, you know, watch this situation. Anytime our offense has turned the ball over, anytime we have played on the other side of the 50 because of a turnover or a special teams, we've walked on the field and said field goal. There's only been two touchdowns, okay? We fucking say field goal, field goal. And many times it was punt. The mark of a great team tomorrow is we have to play that way. They pride themselves on taking the ball away. They pride themselves this year on doing that. Should that happen, we have no control over that. But we do have control over where we take the fucking when we get out there on the field. We do have total control of how we fucking play defense when we get out there. And we make them kick a fucking field goal. We make them kick a fucking field goal. We don't give up a fucking touchdown. And we play situational defense. The other thing is our body language, and your body language has been spectacular. It was huge last week against Detroit. Fake ass, phony ass motherfuckers. <clears throat> we go out there in the first half after two turnovers, we make a punt once and have to kick a field goal the other time. Outstanding on two turnovers in the first half. Key parts of the ball game to going in at halftime. Going in at halftime with the score right like it was because of the way you play in those situations. Our body language. Okay? Our body language because we rushed the field and we waited for them. Never, ever, ever show an opponent weakness. Our body language and our mental toughness comes first. And then our physical toughness comes second. All right, let's take a look here. First envelope. <laughs> you know, do we always like to do the first envelope this? <laughs> we always like to do <laughs> <laughs> the first envelope. It's oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Do you want it? Oh, fuck no. Okay, it's $200. You got to put a wax on this thing. Get that shit back to me. 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 back One cause takeaway, $200. Give it back. Two interceptions to well. It's going to be a This will be interesting. Give it back. 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 Give is measured by the championships we win. Not where, or if you were drafted. People are in this for you, we don't care. Not by how much money you make, we don't care. Not by how many years you play, we don't care. Championships is a goal. This is the next step. Any goal that we have decided 
as a group that you have decided as a group, you fought and fought and fought and accomplished that goal. We set out with one goal in mind this year. The final goal in mind this year was another championship. It was another ring. Respect comes from fear. I tell you all the time. I take great pride and didn't know this. But that was my birthday. That is my birthday. Only 10 years earlier than mine. But this is how you get respect in this league. We need to find out in the first two series of the game, the little wide receiver, number 10, about his concussion. We need to probably put a lick on him right now. He needs to decide. He needs to fucking decide. We need to decide whether Crabtree wants to be a fake ass prima donna or he wants to be a tough guy. We need to find that out. He becomes human. We need to fucking take out that outside ACL. We need to decide on how many times we can beat Frank Gore's head. We need to decide how many times we can bull rush and we can fucking put Vernon Davis's ankles over the pile. We need to decide, and when they are fearing us, they give us the ball. Alex Smith in the preseason game, when you guys fucking avalanche that motherfucker, had eyes that big. You all saw him when we got after his ass in the preseason game. We got after his ass here last year on Monday Night Football. Respect comes from them fearing us. Find ball, see ball, get ball, no give ball. Don't give ball when they're afraid. Another thing we always say in this room is never apologize for the way we compete. If you're in this room, you understand that we don't apologize.